Hello everyone, this is Pakshta Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of my courses are available now. You can find the links in the description of this video. Buy the courses if you haven't done it yet. I would really appreciate your support. I continue showing you the series of videos on working with the basic patterns. Today I'm going to show you one more video about the combined sleeves. It's an interesting and complicated topic. There are different types of sleeves. I've already showed you one of them in the previous video. Watch it if you haven't done it yet. Today I'm going to show you one more sleeve pattern. Set in sleeve in the front and the regular sleeve on the back. The difficulty of such design is that the underarm and the side seam do not match. Do not even try to join these seams. Do not stretch or gather the fabric trying to make these seams match. It's a waste of time. Let's start working. There is nothing to change in the front. I'll be working just with the back. The pattern for the sleeve is the same as for raglan sleeve. I need to measure and mark 1.2 cm away from the fold and 7 or 9 cm down from the top. Next I need to cut the drawn detail. This is how the sleeve looks like now. I need to cut it in half and move the front aside. Next I'm going to show you how to make a pattern for a raglan sleeve on the back. I've already told you that you can draw raglan sleeves however you want. Draw the lines of any shape you like. Notice that in my case the line is not straight. It's slightly round. It's very smooth. Next I need to cut the drawn line. When it's done, I need to close the opening of the shoulder dart. Next, I need to join the sleeve and the cut detail. Make sure that this is the back part of the sleeve. I think that those of you who watch most of my videos already understand what I'm going to do next. If you learn the basic techniques, the most simple ones, you will be able to make any patterns you like. You will be able to sew anything you want. You can make a one-piece sleeve or a two-piece sleeve. If you make a one-piece sleeve, you need to make a dot in the center. I'm going to make a new pattern. There is an angle in the original pattern here, but I'm going to make the line more smooth. Don't pay attention to the angles. The line should be smooth, round and beautiful. Such types of sleeve is widely used in the outwear, in jackets, especially when you need to add some ease to the sleeve on the back. Just make a regular sleeve on the back. Notice that my lines are smooth and beautiful. I can throw this pattern away. I've already outlined it. There are much more complicated designs of sleeves. For example, when the raglan on the front runs into a yoke on the back, use your imagination.
These are the two details of the sleeve, the front and the back. You can make a one-piece sleeve. Be very attentive. First, you need to stitch the underarm seam, and only then insert the sleeve in the armhole. The side seam and the underarm seam do not have to match, if they do it's just a coincidence. If you make a one-piece sleeve, do not forget to make a dot here. I suggest making a seam in the center. This design is easier. We have a lot of interesting lessons ahead. Don't be lazy. I want you to learn to use your imagination. I want you to learn to work with the basic patterns accurately. If you do it, you'll be able to sew and wear anything you want. I really want us to be different and beautiful. This is what I'm here for. I want you to learn to adjust lines, to move them, to be able to make new openings and close the original ones. Don't be afraid of working with the patterns. That's all for today. My name is Pauk Shterina. Buy my courses, subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.